Curiosity is the virtue that propels us toward adventure, discovery, and all things unique and wonderful. And it's curiosity that inspired the craftsmen behind Catskill Distilling Company in their quest for the perfect gin. It's called Curious Gin and contains a secret recipe and combination of 14 regional and exotic botanicals and locally grown juniper berries handcrafted in small batches. This is as smooth as they come. It's created by Catskill Distilling and it's not the only thing they create. And they have a great story behind them. Monty Sachs and his wife Stacy opened this micro distillery. In 2010, the distillery opened and is one of the first premier New York farm distilleries. Everything that we do at the distillery is farm to glass. And interestingly, it is a stone's throw across the street from the original Woodstock site from 1969. As you can imagine, culture and art run through our DNA as well. We are all about making really extraordinary products and we start with only the best Catskill mountain water. We use amazing recipes. Our distiller is absolutely phenomenal. He takes a huge pride in everything that he does. This gin was created for people that aren't really accustomed to gin. It's made from botanicals that are local to our area and I am thrilled that it is being featured here at the Black Barn. We're here with mixologist Tony at Black Barn Restaurant, and what are we going to make? Today we're going to be making five cocktails, three of them are going to be classics. Two of the cocktails are going to be something that we are working on at Black Barn. So today we're going to be making a Curious Gin Gimlet. It's going to be three quarter parts fresh lime juice. We have three quarter parts simple syrup, which is just equal parts water to sugar. So we have one part, one ounce of kaffir lime vodka, which is just vodka infused with kaffir lime. And then the star of the show, Curious Gin, which is just gonna be one ounce of Curious Gin. We're gonna fill our tin with ice. Give it a little smack on top and shake. So for our next cocktail, we have the bee's knees. So we're gonna have three quarter parts of fresh lemon juice here. Three quarter parts of honey syrup. This is a three to one ratio, honey to hot water. Then we have two ounces of curious shin from Catskills. Then we're gonna fill our tin with cold draft ice cubes. Give it a little tap. Here we have a chilled coupe. Gonna double strain so get all those fine little ice cubes at the end. Garnish with the lime wheel. And that is the bee's knees. So for our next cocktail, we have a pineapple julep. We're gonna start off with a bit of fresh mince into our tin it goes. We have a slash of Luxardo maraschino liqueur. We're gonna lightly muddle it just to release those essential oils. We're going to do a quarter ounce of white balsamic vinegar, half an ounce of our berry shrub. This is a shrub that we make in the house. It has blackberries, blueberries, and also balsamic vinegar. Three quarter of an ounce of fresh pineapple juice, and then two ounces of the star of the show, our curious chin. Gonna add ice to our bigger shaker. Pour it over a Moscow Mule cup with crushed ice. For garnish, we're gonna put two straws, a few piña farns, a lime wheel, and a few fresh blueberries. That is the pineapple julep. For the farmer's daughter, we're gonna start with fresh cut red bell pepper. We have a habanero tincture, which is just habaneros infused in tequila. We're gonna do four to five dashes of the habanero tincture. Do a muddling of the habanero and the bell pepper. Three quarters of an ounce of fresh lime juice. 
three quarters of an ounce of agave syrup, one ounce of cantaloupe puree. So I found with Curious Gin that on the palate, it has these really lovely spice notes. We do the cocktail in-house with a Reposado tequila, but I found that using the Curious Gin really elevated those spice notes. I fill our tall shaker with cold draft, and we're gonna bake. Cocktail's gonna be served in a rocks glass. A double strain just to get those fine pieces of red bell pepper. Garnish with two straws and a lime wedge. It's the farmer's order with Curious Shin. So for this cocktail we're going to start off with a dash of Angostura bitters. Two to three dashes of orange bitters. Half an ounce of our dry vermouth, half an ounce of Amaro Nonino, which is a grappa based digestive from northern Italy, one and a half ounces, once again, curious gin. Let's fill our mixing glass with cold draft. Here I do a, about 30 to 45 seconds, depending on my ice cubes. And we're going to serve it over a whiskey cube. Garnish with an orange twist. It's the white Negroni. We are really proud about everything that we distill at Catstill Distilling Company. And we hope, Kelly, that you will come and join us and sample some products with us from our Most Righteous Bourbon, to our Catskill Straight Rye Whiskey, to our Wicked White Whiskey, to our one and only Buckwheat, to even Peace Vodka, in remembrance of the 1969 Woodstock Festival, and of course, our Curious Gin. Very unique recipes. All of our spirits are award-winning, and all of our spirits offer consumers a real taste of not just the Catskill Distilling Company, but a real taste of New York. Cheers. Cheers. Mark, nice Cheers. 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 Mark. Great. Great. <laughs> All right. Got skilled distilling.